All right, we are here at the second annual uh, Live Green Fair in beautiful downtown Ferndale. And we're talking to one of the organizers, Mark. How are you today? Life is really sweet. Well, what a beautiful, hot, summer, sunny weekend you have for this uh, fair. Uh, how are things going? Pretty darn well, actually. We're uh, making sure to keep people hydrated by offering free tap water. People don't know what to do with that, but uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's something that you can get at your own home, too. Amazing. So uh, what we are trying to do is help people to come up with a few little steps they can do, do to either improve their health, improve their, their way they live and interact with the planet. Uh, we don't believe that everybody or anybody can really just jump in and change their lives instantly. Um, so we're trying to make sure that people can have the information they need to determine what are the right changes for them. In order to do so, we divided the fair into five sections. We have our green arts section because uh, arts is such an important part of life and frankly a lot of the materials that are used in the arts tend to be toxic and not good for the uh, artist. Then we have our green home section. That's probably one of the more popular ones where you can learn what you can do to save money on energy, uh, to uh, make your home work better. Uh, it's just a, a myriad of things and uh, again it's a matter of getting you a lot of information so that you can make the decisions about what is right for you. Next comes the green fair section which is more the generic outside of the house things including Honda, Ford, uh, the Chevy Volt here for people to test drive. Uh, then we've got our um, Veg Fest, which is a chance for people who are maybe uh, uh, carnivores to get a chance to see, could vegetarian be is right for me? Likely not if you're a carnivore, but maybe one, two, three meals a week might help your health, might also uh, help save the planet a little bit because it's so much better for the environment than the meat products. And then finally, we have our Holistic Enlightenment Fair, which is where we have uh, practitioners of less traditional uh, uh, healing ways. Um, everything from uh, people who uh, say that they can read your aura and such and figure out what it is you need, to chiropractors and people who are a little more mainstream. And again, it's just a matter of making sure that people can look around, figure out what really works for them. Uh, there's a wonderful word that I learned years ago called equifinality, which basically means an infinite number of people can start in an infinite number of different places and end up in exactly the same place. And that's what I try to do with what we're doing here, equifinality. We know each person coming here is a slightly different person has slightly different needs, so we're trying to help them to find their direction to a better world and a better life. Everybody's on their own path and they're in different places on that path and right. it sounds like you put together a fair that speaks to wherever someone might be. I'm hoping so. Mark, about your personal path, the professional path, what, how, how did you come to be an organizer of the fair and, and what's your background? Well, actually, I'm an event person. Um, mostly, I, uh, as far as this city, I do the Funky Ferndale Art Fair. And last year, with the Ferndale Art Fair, we premiered the Green Fair to see if it was something that people would be interested in. We had about 18 booths and it was very popular and people really wanted to get involved. So we thought we'd uh, do it as its own thing this year. And we were figuring maybe 60 booths and one stage for speakers and such. Well, we've got about 97 booths and we have three different speaker stages plus our kids area. So, Beautiful. Uh, and this is an annual event. Now, yes. are there are there uh, green fairs or do you anticipate green fairs in other cities besides uh, Ferndale? Well, currently, Roger Chester has a green fair and Plymouth has a green fair and they're and both are, very great events. Yes, and are you involved in either of those? Uh, we've been talking to the people there so that we can uh, coordinate a little bit better to make sure everybody's getting uh, the information they need. Yeah. Great. All right. So this is happening all weekend. Yes. This sir. video will probably be seen by most people after the fair is over. They can look right. forward to it next year. And right. is there an online presence for the fair where people can uh, mm -hmm. take a look at some of the exhibitors and uh, booths uh, online in their own time? Right. Um, just you go to our name, livegreenfair.com, and we have links to most of the exhibitors, sponsors, things like that, so that you can get the information you need. And again, don't punish yourself for not being able to do it all at once. 
once, none of us can. Just pick something that you want to change, something that you want to improve in your life, and make that small step. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Sure, thank you.